Hello educators. I wanted to talk to you today about comparing and contrasting. And those are kind of big words, but um, as you'll hear me talk about a lot, uh, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and use them because that's how they learn all their words. Today I have what's a very poor excuse for some fall leaves, uh, but you'll forgive me because I live in Texas and it's trying to be fall, but it's hot and um, also our tree must have an issue because this is what our leaves look like. But anyway, hopefully you have some better leaves and you can do this activity um, with a little bit more nice leaves. So we went and collected leaves so that we can compare and contrast. This is myself and my daughter and she's three. And so we tried to pick up as many different colors as we could, but um, color is just one attribute of these leaves. So when we came in, she automatically put them in what she called families, which is basically sorting by color. And we decided to make uh, this one orange. And so, of course, sorting by color is one way to compare these leaves. So we compared them by color. Um, we also talked about their shape. I said, can you find two that have the same shape? Well, they basically all have the same shape because they all, we only have one kind of tree in our yard. We've got two Bradford pears and they are a lot of trouble in some ways, but they do make beautiful colored leaves when it's not sick or whatever. But anyway, so she showed me two leaves that have the same shape. And yes, my bed is not made, sorry. <laughs> uh, so then there's another attribute and that is size. And I said, can you show me two leaves that have the same size? And she showed me two large and two small. And then when she showed me these, um, we talked about how these are the same in many attributes. They're the same color. They're the same size and the same shape. And they both have one stem and just all the different things we could think about um, how these are the same and different. And so um, basically that's all we did was talk about how these leaves are the same and different. And we use the words comparing and contrasting. So that's a quick, easy way that you can compare and contrast. Of course, there's the Venn diagram and um, we can talk about that in another video and um, it's not impossible to bring that into your lesson or your activity uh, but today we just wanted to do a simple compare and contrast and learn those words and just have fun with leaves and so that was a quick easy thing we did today that I wanted to share with y'all so thank you educators parents teachers grandparents caregivers babysitters all of you if you're spending time with kids you're an educator thank you for watching